But also today, I just want to stress the importance of getting to know your photographer. Oh, so getting to know your photographer, it might seem something that's a bit of a no-brainer, um, but more and more we're finding that um, more of our communication is online, whether it's just by email or whether it's um, uh, messaging, texting back and forth, Facebook messaging, that sort of stuff. Um, and often I like to make a point of trying to give as much information as possible, um, checking with the couple if, they've, if they're at a venue that I'm familiar with that um, usually the venue, if they've spoken to the venue and they've mentioned that I'm the photographer, that the, I will have worked with the venue before so they can get feedback from there. Um, but I've just recently heard a few stories of um, some photographers at venues that have just kind of lost the plot where things have, they've been either rude to staff, rude to guests, things have gone wrong um, and it's not always a one-off, it is it is happening a little bit. Um, so I just wanna, yeah, stress the importance of getting to know your photographer. Um, so, and not just by things like Google reviews and Facebook reviews, which are great, um, but actually talk to people who deal with, have dealt with the photographer on a first, there's sparrows flying around here, <laughs> um, that have dealt with the photographer recently um, and just get feedback. Usually probably the best one to deal with is the venue, because that's the, the the vendor for the wedding that we work the closest with. So the, the venue, we need to know our times. We've got to make sure that um, we've got our couple, all the photos done, that they're in, um, ready to start the reception and that, because if that runs late, it can throw all sorts of things out of whack with running times for the night, um, with meals, catering, all that sort of stuff. So the venue is the best one to be able to ask about your photographer, to see just how they work, what they're like with dealing with couples. Um, yeah, just to, to make sure that your day is gonna work just how you think it will. To me, photos obviously are extremely important on the day, but I do realize they're not it's not what the day is all about. Um, it's, I believe it's more important to be there to enjoy your day and have fun and, and make it a, an enjoyable experience rather than not enjoying yourself at the sake of getting a certain photo. If it, if it means me being rude or pushy or having to make you do something that you're not comfortable with um, to get the shot, it's, it won't happen. I'll rather um, keep that one in my, my memory bank to try maybe at, a, at another day where things are happening differently. Um, but yeah, it's for me, I feel it's more important for you that you enjoy your wedding day and you're there to, to have fun and enjoy the people around you rather than it all being all about the photographer. So um, yeah, just make sure you do as much research as you can. Um, stalk them however you, I don't mean looking in bedroom windows and things like that, but stalk them online, um, talk to other vendors about them, um, ask them what do they like to deal with on the day, because people do create amazing photos, um, but sometimes if if they're not great to deal with on the day, you're not, you're not gonna look at those photos and love them because you're gonna remember the experience rather than the finished product. You're gonna remember how someone made you feel. Um, so yeah, always happy to help. Come in, like come into the studio, chat, talk. We're happy to give you any info that you need to answer any questions that you have. We've been doing weddings a long time um, and we're more than happy to share the wisdom that we've, we've built over doing weddings for many years. So um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, email, all that stuff. Um, always happy to help with any questions that you have.